Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins' Math Club. Today's topic is translating algebraic phrases. So this is a pretty basic topic. All you need to know is the basic like math key terms that we use every single day, which are sum, difference, product, and quotient. So as long as you know these, you should be pretty good with this topic. So what we're going to be doing is taking a bunch of words and just pretty much translating them into algebraic phrases, okay? So translating them into mathematical form, okay? So number one says, the sum of a number and seven. So the first step that we need to do is underline or circle our key terms. That will help us in order to write our algebraic phrase, okay? So the sum of a number and seven. The three terms that are important here are sum, number, and seven, okay? So the first term is sum. Now we know that sum means addition. So we're going to go ahead and write the plus sign. So we're done with this term, okay? So the sum of a number and seven. A number, this is an unknown value. So in this case, we are going to be using a variable. A variable is used to substitute for an unknown value, okay? So a number is an unknown value because we don't know what it stands for, right? So a variable is basically a lowercase letter that you use to substitute an unknown value. So you could use any letter because there are 26 letters in the alphabet. It does not matter which one you use, but in most cases, is people use X or N so I will be using X okay so X plus and now we need our last term which is 7 the sum of a number and 7 so X plus 7 and you are done so in order to translate the sum of a number and 7 we write X plus 7 okay so as you can see it's pretty basic so now number two the difference of a number and three. So we have to once again circle or underline our key terms, which are difference, which tells us that we will be subtracting, number, which means that we will be using a variable, and three, okay? So the difference is subtracting, so we will put a subtraction sign. Of a number, a number, we will be using a variable, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on using X, okay, for all of these, and three. So we write 3. So in order to translate the difference of a number and 3, we write x minus 3. Okay, so number 3. The product of 16 and a number. Product means to multiply. Now there are various ways that you can write this. You can write this, now remember this. When it comes to addition or multiplication, it doesn't really matter which way you can write this, like the order that you write it in. So like for number, for example, for number one, we wrote x plus seven. We could have also written this as seven plus x. So it doesn't really matter for multiplication and addition, but for subtraction and division, it does matter which order you write it in. So now number three deals with multiplication, okay? Because product refers to multiplication. So we go ahead and circle this product 16 and a number. Now, one way you can write this is 16 times, and now if you use x, that would kind of be confusing, so in this case, let's use n, 16 times n. We could also write this as 16 dot n, and this dot is used to represent multiplication, or one of the more common ways that you will see this written is just simply 16n. You do not put any symbol in between. So 16n tells us that we're multiplying a number by 16, okay? So this is like more of the common way that you'd write it, but you could also write it in these two ways as well. Okay, so now number four. The quotient of 34 and a number. Now remember what I said earlier? It does matter which order you write it in for subtraction and division. So you need to go in the order that it is telling you. So the quotient of 34 and a number. So it tells us that 34 comes first and then the number. So let's go ahead and circle our key terms. Quotient, 34, and a number. So Quotient tells us we're dividing. Now, once again, there are also several ways you can write it for quotient or division. You could write this as the division sign. So 34 and divided by a number, which we'll use n, okay? So you could write it like this, but more commonly, you will be, they will be written in fraction form. So it will be written as 34 over n okay or x or whatever variable you're using okay so this is more of like the common way that you'll find it but you could also write this as 34 divided by n okay so now number five 
two less than a number. Now, less than is also subtraction. Now, I wrote this on purpose because this is where some of us get confused when it says less than, like because mostly it will say difference, but if it says less than, it's really nothing to be confused about because less than just means subtraction. So less than and then two and a number. These are our terms. So two less than a number. Now, remember, the order does matter. So what it's telling us is that we have a number and it's two less than that number. So let's say, for example, I have a number of chocolates, okay, and my friend Sarah has two less than me. So in order for me to calculate how many she has, I need to subtract two from the amount of chocolates I have. So first, in order to find that, I will have to write the number, the variable, the amount of chocolates I have first, right? So I'll write n minus two, because two less than a number. So Sarah has two less chocolates than I do. So if I had 36 chocolates, she would have 34. If I had 34, she'd have 32 and so on, okay? So now, moving down to number six, a number decreased from 18. This is also where some of us get stuck. Decreased is also saying that we have to subtract. So our key terms are number, decreased, and 18. So it's telling us a number is being decreased from 18. So what we're doing is we're subtracting something from 18. So 18 goes first minus a number n. So that tells us that we're subtracting n, we're decreasing n from 18, okay? So we write this as 18 minus n, okay? Now, number 7. It says 34 more than a number. More than means the same thing as adding. Now, remember, in addition and multiplication, the order does not matter. So I could write this as 34 plus n. Or I could also write this as n plus 34. It doesn't matter. Okay, now the last one, this is kind of the challenge question. 17 less than twice a number. So this time we're doing two operations. We're doing subtraction and then twice a number. It's telling us that we're multiplying a number by two. So we're doing subtraction and multiplication. So now it's telling us that we have twice a number and then we have 17 less than that twice a number. So our key terms are 17 less than twice and a number. So this time we have four key terms. So now, remember this, we are subtracting 17 from twice a number. Twice a number can be written as 2n or 2x or whatever variable you're using. 2n, 17 less than minus 17. So 17 less than twice a number can be written as 2n minus 17. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys today. Now, if you still need to practice, then please feel free to visit our website at broandsysmathclub.com, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!